So when you tell me about, I know you use the PWCC vault and I don't know if you used that before you moved to Spain or if that was just a reflection of you don't really, you're not with your cards and that's what you chose to do. But could you talk about that a little bit? You know, I don't use PWCC. Yeah. So what made you decide to, to vault your stuff? Yeah. The main reason why I'm using PWCC is because I live in Spain and it's not economical at all to have products shipped here oh, for a couple different yeah. reasons. A, I want to be, um, to receive them, you're going to have to pay customs on them. Um, in addition to the shipping, mm -hmm. um, it's going to take a long ass time to get to Spain. Um, mm -hmm. Which, which obviously is a huge deal because you want, you want to be able to have your cards uh, ready to become liquid at, on, kind of on the drop of a dime, so to speak, as a player mm -hmm. has a moment, uh, whatever. Um, so then the same thing, you know, like now double that reason because now on the, on the sending out of cards, it's extremely expensive to ship something from Spain. And then, and then the same thing would have to happen. That, so just so much additional overhead cost from a dollar standpoint and from a time standpoint. Um, I also live in an apartment where like all four of us plus our dog are on top of each other. And so I just, I don't have space to and store your horse. any cards at all in my apartment. Yeah. The, and your horse. The huge horse really takes up. You can't forget about space. that guy. What's his name? Yeah, you got a name. The horse him. is really, um, well, the horse doesn't have a name, but the artist Victoria Scotty art, um, she's a friend of ours here in Spain, so I'll give her the I'll give her the name. Um, yeah, the horse is the biggest thing in our house, so there's no room for cards because of the horse. <laughs> and PWCC puts me in a position where I can have somebody else do the receiving and shipping. So I, it's peace of mind. It's peace of mind to um, to know that if I buy if whatever I invest in, that it's going to get there safely. Someone's going to receive it. Someone's going to take a picture of it. Um, they have a nice, they have nice technology. So they have a, a nice app and website platform that um, intakes the card. They, they curate it. So basically what that means is they take a picture of it. They put it in my vault and then I can go into my app and my website account at any time. And I can see uh, what they've insured it for. Um, I can see the photos of it. They type, if it's graded, they give it like an actual title. If it's not graded, if it's raw, they just kind of put the player's name on it. But you can request for them to, to title it a particular thing. You can list certain cards, certain graded cards and sealed wax on their platform. So that gives you another selling option that you wouldn't have if you don't have items in their vault. I personally have not sold anything in the PWCC auctions. Um, I did sell a few cards through their eBay account before they were banned off of eBay. Um, so now what I do is I sell, I sell cards through nooffseason.com directly. I sell cards really, if anyone wants to buy a card through me, through social media, we can do Venmo, we can do PayPal, but I'm, I also sell directly through eBay, my own eBay account, no off season sports cards. And then whenever I sell a card, I just, it's, they're all in my vault and I just go online, type in the, per, the buyer's, shipping address pay pwcc five dollars to ship it and it's out now the the downside with sealed wax so the fees the fees are okay the 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 reason i buy mostly graded cards is because they only charge me two dollars curation fee per intake of graded card um, what kind of sucks is they charge ten dollars per curation fee of um raw cards so what? it's really not economical at all for me to buy a raw card unless it's like a several $10? hundred dollar raw card. Unless it's like, unless it's like an RPA where then the $10 kind of don't matter as much. But right. yeah, if it's just a regular, like I wouldn't go out and buy like a Desmond Bain or a Tyrese Maxi like Prism or, you know, like, like Prism Parallel for like 20 bucks. Cause it's like a $30 card for me. And it, that, that starts to not make sense. Um, so there's some things that I'm really missing out on. The other thing is sealed wax. They charge a $25 curation fee for a box of sealed wax. So if I'm buying like a, 
a blaster. <laughs> you know, like it's now I've fifty dollar blaster the cost now. Of my blaster. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So it just so there's some some limitations to that. If I wanted to make a play, which actually I and happy to talk to you about this right now. There's some there's some grading plays that I want that I kind of want to do because as I'm putting together the sports card investment report, at the end of each player's report, there's the play, and the play. Mm -hmm is like, out of all the information that I've given you in this write-up, this is what you should do. You should, you should do this. And I've found myself, especially with a lot of NBA guys right now, because it's, it's not economical to buy a lot of NBA guys right now. Um, but with some of the guys, it's economical to buy raw, get graded, and then that's your play. And so there are a couple of things I wanted to hit you up on to see if maybe we could, we could because I'm here, I can't really make those plays. Maybe you and I can team up on a play where oh, yeah. I ship the card to you. Absolutely, uh, man. You, you handle the operations of getting it graded, and um, we, we can, can definitely that. do that. And then it'd be good. Well, just assume that, I'm assume that I'm down for that. So. <laughs> okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah, that's awesome. So uh, good question on PWCC. I, I, I would recommend that wasn't it, though, just to anyone the, who doesn't uh, want to. Rundown, but thank you for answering that. No, I mean, it's always good. You know, you and I can deviate from the rundown because I think it's all good content um, that we're covering, and I think it's useful. Um, I will say that even when I move back to the United States in a couple years or less, um, I will probably continue to use PWCC because um, just it's – I've. It's so you don't nice have to, worry to be about all it. virtual. It's just yeah. virtual. Yeah, like my whole world is virtual and everything I do, I don't have any overhead costs to it. And it's kind of like, yeah, I want to hold some cards in hand, but like really I, I want to flip them anyway. So if, you know, um, I'll have more options when I can have the card shipped to my home address. Which So I'll probably have cards shipped to my home address when I live back in Tennessee now uh, in the future but I'll probably still ship all the valuable stuff into the vault and then, and then just whenever I sell it, have the vault ship it out for me. So, yeah. Um, I well, say that I've now. also received we'll stuff. So I received something from you from the piece at PWCC vault when you sent us that, uh, the hobby or, uh, um, I don't know if it was a blaster or what the terminology was of the um, soccer cards that you sent us. And so the adrenaline cards that you sent us, I've received it from your PWCC vault. So I know what it's like to receive and the packaging was really good. And I like, like they took good care of it. And so like from a receiver standpoint, also I can give some sort of feedback into what it was like to receive something from your vault um, as well. So, you know, I can, for the for the sake of this segment of our podcast, the receiver is also getting. Um, that would be the main like the main thing for me is are they taking care of my cards in terms of the shipping? Because I'm very particular about like when I sell something on eBay, I want to make it super safe when I'm shipping it out because you know I don't nev never want to get like a neutral or negative review in terms of like oh I wasn't safe or I wasn't like really careful with my product. And I think that was one of our initial things when we talked about how the 700 valuation of eBay uh, authorizing cards, they're not necessarily taking the, the, as much care of them as, and they probably didn't mean to do this, but they just took some oversight on it. Like they just put it in a penny sleeve and then put it in a card saver and shipped it. And it's like, well, actually, you know, if you were actually a card shipper, like if you were in the process, you can just tell somebody was doing it that doesn't really know the process of shipping cards because what they should have done, it was put it in a top loader, you know, masking tape it, cardboard, or some sort of really safe option. And from the PWCC vault, it was very safe. Now, I also got wax instead mm -hmm. of an individual card, so it might be different in terms of a bubble mailer or something like that. But I'm very particular about it. And when I received it from PWCC, it was really safe and, and secured. And also, uh, so rest easy, Paul, knowing that your stuff is definitely getting shipped well um, from your PWCC. <laughs> That's vault. good. That's good. This is the first like face-to-face -face feedback I've had on that. That's good to know. And um, my assumption was that they were going to do a better job than I would do. Cause I, you know. Well, yeah. They probably have more like supplies, you know, that's how, that's how I assume yeah. it. 
And, and the cost is like, once you've paid for the initial curation fee, they really only charge like a penny or two per month uh, storage fee, which is nothing per card. Oh, wow. But it's still nothing. It's like 10 bucks a month. I have like 400 items there and it's like 10 bucks a month for the storage fees. Um, and then, so beyond the curation fee, which is one time, it's just $5 every time that you ship out a, a single card, which is really what you're paying. That's what, yeah, that's, that's what the bad. buyer on eBay is paying me anyway. And so for, yeah. I don't know, 20 extra cents. Cause I think they, maybe they charge the buyer pays like $4 and 80 cents and I'm paying PWCC $5. It's like, I don't have to drive to the post office. I yeah. Don't have to that's 20, that's 20 people cents at the piece post of office. mine. <laughs> Yeah, 20 cents to not have to talk to somebody at the post office is pretty good too. Um, no offense to post office. Your right. social tax uh, there. I have a horse jutting out of my neck, so people can laugh at me too. Um, <laughs> and or join the Facebook group at sportscardstrategy.com. Um, we are brought to you by Market Movers app by Sports Card Investor. If you really, really like the show and you want to get um, access to the best place to track the data of your entire collection, go to marketmoversapp.com and use the promo code NOOFFSEASON to not only save 20% on your fees, but also help give the show a little bit of funding. And um, check out the Sports Card Investment Report. Let me know what you think. All you have to do is go to nooffseason.com. And if you do upgrade uh, for the $20 a month package, you will get all of the rankings one to 100 you will get uh the full reports as well as the play for each card so i'd love the for you guys to check that out love it kendall and i will be back we need to get t to share this episode because we talked about him way too much um <laughs> i want to send you guys good some stock. more cards for wild cards <laughs> good stock we need to um send more cards from no off season to wild cards so you can either rip them or uh, just insert singles into packages that you send out to people um and uh yeah we'll we'll talk to you again soon kendall thanks thanks as always for being on man appreciate it absolutely i loved every second of it same here everybody have a great day